Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about one of these uh, emergency fire exit lights. These would have been placed above doors or fire exits like that, so in the event of a power cut or a power outage, these would light up illuminating the exits at night. So, let's a quick look at the outside. All the necessary labelling on the end here, which is upside down for some reason. ICEL registration scheme, reg number 920401. Emergy Light is the company that make it. Emergy Light Safety Systems, Leeds, England, LS279LL. It's got their uh, phone number on there as well, and fax number. Emergency lighting luminaire. This is what they would call a self-maintained unit. I believe. I could be wrong. Um, so. Yeah, going by the arrow, this would have been placed directly above the door. And there's a couple of windows there to allow light downwards to illuminate the door. So, let's get the cover off. I've already taken the screws out. And uh, that's plastic or something similar. Right. So here's the front of the light unit itself, which is an 8 watt 300 millimeter T yeah T5 white fluorescent tube. Okay. What it is. This one's a uh, Sylvania brand. Standard emergency LTG, which I, sh I assume would be short for lighting. UK made. Now, I've already loosened the screws up for the base, which uh, will just out like so. side of the chassis. There's the watt terminal for the earth wire which is here. Being a metal case it has to be earthed. Here's the underside of all the workings. Uh, it's a nicely stickered earth sticker there to show you've got to earth this bit. Uh, that's where your power goes in. Earth Live Neutral, and there's one labelled M. I'm not sure what the M is. Um, there's your battery contacts. I'll try and just pull off out of the way at the moment. And you've got your outputs to each end of your fluorescent tube here. Bridge rectifier. Because obviously the tube's going to run on DC, so it's going to be needed. Big resistor sitting here. I don't know how to read the stripes, so I don't know what the value is. A couple of transformers. And a little dinky. I'm not sure if that is a transformer. That's prob probably the. Um, I was just thinking that might be the um, circuit to run the. or start up the fluorescent tube. obviously with these types of lights when they're live the tube is off but the batteries are kept charged and as soon as power goes out it switches over to batteries which uh, turn on the tube and I know nowadays these are all LED lights now so these are getting or will be getting quite hard to come by. And I know you can still pick them up on eBay, but they still ask a fair bit of money. I mean, I got this one at a car boot sale last year for about three pounds. And I know on eBay, even for these old fluorescent ones, 
people are still asking like ten pounds or something daft for them. Uh, so I'm going to put this back together. Remembering my earth wire. slides in like that and then you slide it across from the looks of it like that to lock it into place to stop that tipping out obviously and then you just uh, crank up a couple of screws like so and the tube is one of these twist fit ones just slide them in like that, make sure they're in nicely, and then rotate the tube. It's locked into place. And you grab your cover and the frame. And uh, I've only got one screw for the end, so the other one, it didn't come with one for that end. Put that screw back in and we're done. Another short video giving you a look inside one of these old uh, emergency lights. Now what I want to do with this, I'm not sure I can do it with the existing light unit, but I wanted to make a novelty lamp out of it and uh, perhaps mount it on the wall and have a switch put on it or hanging from it. I can easily drill a hole in here and put a, ca a switch in line with the cable. I just mount it on the wall somewhere so I can turn it on as a novelty lamp. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, because as I said, I don't think I could do that with the existing circuit board. Unless I could find a way to uh, hack it and rewire it. But, uh, I'm sure I could find a way. You know, there's lots of room in there, so I can change the light fitting if I wanted to. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.